So we all know the importance of sunscreen. Well, there is a measure by the Florida legislature that would financially penalize Florida cities that ban certain sunscreens that are not reef safe, coral reef safe. And this move is strongly supported by a, a senator here from the First Coast. Well, we only offer reef safe um, natural sunblocks. Lauren Estes, who owns Mangrove Surf Shop in St. Augustine, came up with her own natural yeah, reef like safe the, sunscreen. I want to make sure that whatever we're putting on ourselves when we get in the ocean isn't going to harm, you know, very fragile ecosystems like coral. Studies have shown certain chemicals in sunscreen can harm coral. The legislature is considering a move that would withhold any state funding for tourism advertising to any city or county government which ban sunscreen with the harmful reef chemicals oxymenzone and octinoxate. You heard that right. If a city only sells reef safe sunscreen, it wouldn't get any state money to advertise to tourists. Senator Travis Hudson, who represents part of the First Coast, supports the measure. I think it's very unfair for us as taxpayers to tell Visit Florida to spend uh, several, several millions of dollars in other countries in other states to come down here and if they go visit one of these local governments they're going to realize their sunscreen use or their favorite sunscreen ban. Hudson says he doubts the studies that say these two chemicals harm coral reefs. He says tourists may not use sunscreen at all if they can find their favorite in stores. We could be renamed just to uh, tourism people that come down instead of the sunshine state they'll think of us as the melanoma the capital of the world and I think that's a Idea. Estes isn't buying that argument. I question the motives behind their reasoning for it, potentially due to like financial backing. I asked Senator Hudson if his campaign is supported by sunscreen companies. No, not at all. A search of his campaign contributors appear he does not as well. Key and West is the only Florida concern. city which has banned stores from selling sunscreens with those two chemicals. A couple other cities are considering it. Estes says sunscreen companies should be able to reformulate and not use those two ingredients. She did it. There is one coral reef off of Florida's coast. It's off of South Florida. And as for the rest of what happens with this particular measure, we will keep you updated.